We got a hitting lesson with my boy Ian Jenk hitting yeah. right here. What do we got? So we're gonna start off of this Louisville product right here. It's gonna basically set, it's uh, like a little ramp that flicks up the ball. Exactly. Yeah. It's like soft toss basically. So the whole goal is it's gonna throw the ball Coming like back in boy. this area, right? You gotta hit it to right field or left, left field. field, left field for Going you. Oppo, so yeah, stay off. inside of it, but keep it low. I want you to stay off the top of the cage. Don't hit a ground ball. All we want are head high line drives with backspin. If you can do that, that's perfection. That's what we chase. All right, so we'll, we will start there. Turn my hat around. Here we go. Oh, that was tragic. Is it bent? Yeah, it's a little bent. Oh, yeah. there we go. Okay, okay. It's not really rolling. Put it right here. Okay, all right. We're Probably going need over. it. That's all right. We get it a little higher. Better, better. better These better. aren't the best pitches, but you're starting to get inside the ball a little bit more, right? Right, right. right. I want, if you miss, it needs to be over there. Okay. Oh, I think I'm a little, a little scared higher. of hitting the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Forgot about that. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going I'm to get there. I'm going to get there. Yes. There we go. There Perfection. We go. There we go. Nice. All right, get like two or three more. Two okay. or three of those. Good. Yeah. Figuring it out. Last one. That works. All right, now we're going to go front toss. Staying inside. Stay inside it. Now we're going to go front toss. Okay. The object, so I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. The reason why is because as you start swinging, I actually want your eyes to go to that baseball. And this is why. I want you to keep your, I want you to keep your lead eye behind the baseball. If you can keep it behind keep the baseball. This eye. Yes. Rather than going here. Right. If you go there, look how much your chest can move right. and you can open up, right? Yeah. But if you keep your lead, lead eye. If I keep my right lead eye here, you then can't, you can't turn off. I right. have to stay down through it. Yeah. Interesting. I, I haven't really heard that because, mm -hmm. like, that's that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. But it starts with your eyes. Starts with the head, which yes. starts with the eyes. Yes. Interesting. Yes. That I like that cue because you can see you, there yes. versus exactly there. Exactly. And then what that's going to do to the bat path there. Yes, versus. absolutely. So I always say your eyes can change the way your body organizes. The further out front, the further out front you're gonna you look, the more you're gonna go out to it. How do you go out to it? The swing is a, basically a circle, right? Right. You can only go so long until you turn off the baseball. So if you're out here the whole time, you can spin off. You can spin right. off. Right. But if you can track it back, I'm not saying make contact back here. I just want your eyes to come back. To so the baseball's coming here. in, and so, you're always behind the baseball. Okay. So here's a question. So right, you're saying the swing is a circle. Yeah. Right. So this circle is bad. That's a bad. Correct. Yeah. Because. Because that you're only you know, like you're, you're, you're coming across here, mm -hmm. so you want the circle, yes, more here, right, which helps you stay inside the ball, which gives you all of this space uh -huh. right here. Okay. But there's right. a there's a there's a happy medium, right? Because when you do that, you can drop you your barrel and get behind the baseball. Yeah, Nowadays, gonna, guys have really hitting. high spin rate and everything, so you have to figure out how to do that, but still stay on top of the baseball. Right. Right. Okay. So get behind the ball as much as possible but do it until you can create backspin. If you okay. can't create backspin and you're trying to get behind the ball, do it less. Just okay. think down on top more. Okay. So we're going to do front toss, all right? right? To front toss, to front toss. So this is what's going on. We're going to put the ball. He's a left-handed hitter. We're going to put a ball in the right-handed batter's box on the corner of the plate right here. What's going to happen is he's going to see the ball in, and as he takes his swing, he's going to look back at this baseball. What it's going to do is help his direction and make sure he doesn't pull off the baseball because as soon as our head goes this way, it allows our chest to fly off like this. If we keep our eyes back, we can only go so far, and we're always behind the baseball. I say if you can keep your eyes behind the baseball, your body's going to be behind the baseball. That's where your power and adjustability is. Yep. And the other thing that was interesting, we were talking about the swing being a circle, and we don't want to necessarily go here. We no. want to more so go a little bit here because then we're going to stay in the zone rather than coming out. Mm -hmm. And what he was talking about with the lead eye made a lot of sense to me because, you know, if, I, if I'm rolling over, getting around balls, it's normally because my chest is coming up, yes. which comes because my head is high, which comes because my lead eye is getting here, rather than 
staying down that way. Mm -hmm. so, Absolutely. And you want to make sure you can still create backspin. That is the most important thing in this. That's what's going to get you the home runs. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's just no look. I don't even want you to see where the ball goes. I, you want me, boom, here. Yeah. 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 Woo. Yeah. Woo. Woo. I feel dialed right now, Ian. That's beautiful. Slowed oh. it up on you right there. That might be a, a far one on the on the wrap Yeah, right now. <laughs> some good launch angle. You still want me everything oppo, yeah? I, no, it doesn't have to be oppo. I just want you to stay inside of it. Just like, stay inside right, of it. Right, right, and stay behind the baseball. You can pull it if you want. Just make sure you pull it with backspin, right? Beautiful. <laughs> no look, no look. Oh, I got you. Can you see how much harder you hit that ball? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. I feel so locked in right now. Literally just from like, because I want to see it. Because I want to see yeah. how far it goes, you know, uh -huh. what it's carrying like. But it truly is the more I stay here, right. the better it goes there. Right, right. So simple, bro. <laughs> so simple. A little out that time. Oh. Right, let's do two more. All right, all right. Good. I feel you want to end on that? No, let's go on that. All right. Oh, one more. Oh, oh, gets greedy. Gets greedy. The one more <laughs> comes back to bite you. Good. Dude. Solid. 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 Okay. So, what do you think? Okay. How awkward is it looking back at the baseball? No, not awkward at not all. Not awkward at all? Yeah. So it changes the direction in which we swing. Yeah. So put it like this. Because then I'm going that way. Yes. Right? Yes. Versus yes. here. Yes. yes. So truly by the eye, right now I'm attacking oppo there. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's crazy just from that one just eye. Just from that one eye. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. I tell my players, you swing sideways. Like you actually, you don't I swing at to... where the ball is. Like, okay, the ball is going to be approaching you. You don't swing it where the ball is. You swing it where it's going to be. Every ball, every pitch you can drive crosses the plate, right? So why not swing at the plate if that's the direction we want our swings to go? If we want it to go that way. We're going there. Exactly. And that's how Versus we can stay behind it. Exactly. There. If we go out to it, we're, we got to spin. Right. We got to spin. Well, that, I see Cruz do this all the time, too. He's like, he's always talking here. Yes. But really what starts that. Are the eyes. It, are the eyes. Yeah, are the eyes. Wow. That's why, that's why you have all these major leaguers with a bunch of different thoughts, swings, um, feels, everything. But one thing is consistent. They're, they have good eyes and they all do that. They all do that. All the best ones do it. Interesting. Dude, that is Super good. simple. That Super is simple. really good. Uh, all right, what do we want to do next? Uh, how well do you get into your backside when you swing? Um, good. You know what? So I actually have a question about that because I remember seeing some stuff where it's like you want this to be fused. Mm -hmm. But in, in high school, I felt like I had a really good separation here. Yeah. And then I feel like I kind of lost that in college. Yeah. So it's, it's a very, very fine medium, like a uh, happy medium. You don't want to be You don't want to be two-piece because that'd be right, disconnected. Like, yeah. So you don't want to be two-piece. You'd be disconnected because it'd be like, now you're, right. you're, now you're not quick. Right. But you right, want right. this action to happen, but you want to be fused while doing it. That's why the loss vision is so important. Right. Because we can get into a position to where we get that separation, but we're still one unit on the backside. Right. So instead of it being like that, we can pull back. And then and now it's boom, that right? It's boom, yes. one motion. Yeah. So so it's it's two pieces, but you're fully stretched. Yes. Right. And then when this thing goes, this has to go with yes. it too. Yes. Yeah. Got absolutely. Okay. Uh, that's exactly how it's done. Okay. Actually. I'm picking up what you're putting down, yeah. bro. <laughs> so and hey, what's the focus here now? Huh? Still my eye, or get into a so, full stretch, or what do you think? I would say both because one doesn't work without the, without the other. You right. can get a really good stretch, but the direction but you release you're releasing it in could be that way. It so you want to good. stretch and release it in the right position, right? Okay. So the eye is super, so, super important. So build on top of it. Yeah, yeah. So still focusing here, but really trying to get. Yes. Okay. Now here, here's another question. Like when I go here, like do you want my 
like, sh should I just focus on getting so, a little, like, how do I get to a stretch? How do you get to a stretch? Yeah. So, the, so this position is not manufactured. So there's actions and reactions in a swing. Our job is to figure out what action do we have to do to get a reaction, right? So the, the action of a good load, of a good loss position, should get you there automatically. Okay. If you watch like a Barry Bonds, his, he's going before his front foot hits. And the reason why is because he's pulling back. He's, he's here and he's pulling back and he's stretching, he's stretching, and then he goes, then he goes. right? So it's like holding, holding that control more. until you can't. Yeah, holding that control here until you can't, and now I already have it. I already have as much separation as I really need because people always talk about the hands going back, right? Right. They get lost. I right. can create a lot of power by keeping my hands right here, pulling back, and I have all the separation I need right here, and right? That's what you're talking about with your bands. Yes. Right here. Exactly. Because, so the stretch is getting right. this elbow over the knee? Yes, yes. Okay. And so right here. So, so if I'm getting here, I have no stretch here uh -huh. because I'm not. Now, right. now I have a stretch, but now I'm kind of coiled, right? right? Which we don't necessarily want. Right. It's right? a little too much. So the whole goal is. This, so I want it. I want my hips coming forward and right. my elbow going back a little bit. Almost, more. yeah. You just want your your front arm resisting the turn of your body. The front arm resisting the turn. Right. That starts with the hip. Right. Got it. And remember, you do not turn with the foot. You turn with the hip. You can and think then, turn with your core, whatever might help. Load up the so, backside. Turn with the middle. So is it is it bad if I'm going there? No. Not necessarily. It just depends. If you do, if you go there, you got to hold up top, right? right. Like if your knee goes down, you got to hold it back hold up here. here. Yeah. That's. I like that language. Resisting the turn with your front yes. side. And that's exactly what this helps do. Right. Because if I'm back here, I can resist that turn for as long as possible and keep that direction. Okay. All right. Let's get a few more. Dude, I feel like it's all clicking for me right now. We'll see how it looks. Nice. Oh, I got around that one. Yeah, I got bit. around it. Hit it really hard, got around it. Hey, so I got a question for you now. What do you think about like a tip, like a bat tip right here? Uh -huh. So I don't, personally, I don't do it. I don't teach it a lot. Uh, I kind of let the athlete athlete. Figure right? it out. Yeah. yeah. So it's really, it's, it's really, uh, like, this is why I talk about the stance and everything. Your stance should not be based off of comfort. Your stance should not be based off of comfort. It should be based off of your lost position and your inefficiencies to get in there. So, for instance, I have a player who gets stuck on his backside a lot, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't have him start back because he's going to get stuck back. I have him start forward and work back, and that helps him get into a really good lost position. Right. So I, I tell guys, like, your stance is not based off of comfort. It's what, whatever stance helps you get into a good position to hit, whether it's kind of being halfway there, almost kind of like already being there, or you need to start really neutral, whatever it might be. So I have another guy who has some really, really big moves, right? Mm -hmm. So in his stance, I don't have him up like this. I have everything close Damn, and relaxed, and right? And he's almost, so, he's almost like in here, right? But by the time he gets to his launch position, this getting... move turns into that. Right. Instead of him starting here and then going there, we just start here so he so moves So he gets left. there. He gets there. And then same thing the other way. Yes. If they're, if they're not going enough, then you have them start bigger. Start, yeah, exactly. It's so simple once you understand it, bro. It is. All right, let's see right here. Crush. Stay down more. Keep that head down more. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I felt, I felt Each it. Each time, so put it like this. If, you're, if you get topspin or if the ball goes down, it's because the body came up. Right, it's because wow. you allowed that to happen. So if you want the ball wow. to go up, keep your body down. And you have to stay. Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. dude. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that feels incredible. Wow. <laughs> dude, that that hey, that's a hundred percent what it is. It's yes. It's just a little bit of this yes. right here that then creates absolutely. That top spin. Even and though I'm doing everything else right. It doesn't you matter because your angles are wrong, right? You're hitting the ball, you're clipping the top half of the baseball. Wow. So, it, so understanding your misses is so, so important because you can make an adjustment right off of that, okay. right? Okay, okay. Ball goes, ball goes up or ball shoots down, okay, I need to stay down, right? It's not because I... And, and that's, that's like the cue of swing down on the ball. That's, yes, it's, it's to almost, really keep all this it's down. It's almost to keep this down. Yes, yes. 
I tell my guys, you, wow. you turn, like you turn down, like you get into the resistance. You don't turn up here, like you turn you, down. Yeah, and you that, keep it. And, that makes sense, right? That because that's how that just fit. That's just that's how that felt. But obviously, yeah. I didn't hit that thing down. Exactly. Right. Yes. And that's Dude. how you get backspin on the baseball. Okay. Almost. Close. Close. <laughs> that's a Bro. bomb. That feels incredible. Oh, I what just happened? missed What happened? What happened? Where was your head? Where were you your eyes? What? Yeah, it was here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. The less you see the ball, the further it's going to go. Dude, hey, you know what's funny? I actually didn't watch myself hit that ball. Yeah. I kind of stopped watching it, like here. Yeah. Where, whereas if I'm if I'm here, then I'm like fully tracking it. Yes. All the way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Dude. Bro. That's sick, man. Okay. All right. We got to get some takeaways. Okay. Let me just recap the big things that I learned. That's incredible, man. I feel yeah. dialed right now. Yeah. Okay. So, so big things I learned, right? You got the swing path. Right. Um, if you're... If your shoulders mm -hmm. come here, it's going to make you swing this way. Correct. Well, it's going to take you out of the zone. It's going to roll over. Mm -hmm. So you want to be able to stay down through right. here. But and you do that. You do that through your head, which is really led by the lead eye. You, the lead eye. Uh huh. Right. Um, then the other thing that was a big takeaway was that that it's this. Mm -hmm. If you get here on the front side, if you come up with the front side, then. You're coming here, you're yes. going to roll over, you're going to hook yes. balls. So you want to feel yourself stay down yes. on the front side. And then the stretch is truly from the hip through, it's like this front arm mm -hmm. resisting the stretch. Mm -hmm. And you want to get to that max stretch before you go. Right. And so when I would miss, mm -hmm. I would miss from either getting here, mm -hmm. right, which is then causing that hook in the rollover, or... I would miss from getting here mm -hmm. with my eye, yeah. which is then taking my head, taking my shoulders, Absolutely. and my back. And those were Absolutely. like my two, the two main misses. Yeah. So I think Tell something that's really cool that a lot of people don't know is all Tell ground balls, more. all ground balls are because of a premature upswing, pretty much. If you miss hit it, it's a premature upswing. Now you can completely square up a ground ball if you get it really deep and you're on top of it, yeah, but right. miss hits, miss hit ground balls are because it's of a premature upswing and it's always because of that. Interesting. Always. Dude, that's blowing my mind. Yeah, so I always say, like, if you hit a ground ball, like, if you mess up and hit a ground ball, try and hit another one, you'll probably hit a line drive because it'll keep you down. Wow. Dude, that, seriously, those two things of, like, really trying to, to stay back, which is, like, simple, right? Like, watch the ball Super all the simple. way. But the front eye back here, and then I think this was, the, was another big thing for mm -hmm. me, right? I mm -hmm. totally struggled with that in college. Uh -huh. I would top spin balls and I'd like be trying. Why? Yeah. Like, why am I doing that? And it's that's totally because even though I was doing most other things right, uh -huh. if I'm getting there, your angles are all off. My yeah. angles are all off. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. You're good, bro. Much respect. Yeah. Much respect. The answer's in the simplicity, man. That's so true. One one thing that I say all the time is like simple but hard. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. We're doing hard things, but we got to make them simple. Yeah, and it's like. Like, you know, if you went up to a random person on the street, they'd probably mm -hmm. say, like, keep your eye on the ball. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Like, and it's like, that's, that's basically what it's, we're yeah. focusing on. But, and it's so, it's so simple and so easy that we forget about it. But it's perhaps the most important thing yep. because that's our direction. And our direction yep. is our power and adjustability out front. The longer, like, direction and power are, adjustability and power are a combo deal. They come mm. together. Because you, that power is getting your weight behind the baseball, getting mm. your weight in the right direction. Well, if your weight's going the right direction, that means you're going this way. What does that mean? Your bat's going to be in the zone longer, and you can hit out front when you're off speed, when right. you're uh, fooled or something. Right. So direction is power and and adjustability. It's a combo deal. Wow, dude, listen to this guy. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, man. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Sick. If you liked this video, then you'll probably like another video with one of my favorite hitting coaches. DR hitting it's us playing catch at this same event that we recorded this with Ian Jenkins the first ever NYABC so go take a look at that and by the way if you haven't taken the seven day stance challenge yet what are you waiting for go take it right now catchingmadesimple.com stance and I'll see you in the next video